Hello. We're going to make a video today, and this video will demonstrate how a user can download and install the 32-bit version of the VMware Horizon View Client. This software can be used to view virtual machines. In order to demonstrate that the software works correctly, we will log into a machine at the virtual public site using the, VM, the VMware Horizon View Client. Okay. We'll get started here. Uh, one or two preliminaries. Um, I'm actually running this machine on campus for this, uh, creating this uh, demonstration video. So, I'm, but I'm, I'm doing one thing here that I don't really need to do, but I wanted to show you it uh, because you'll need to use it at home. Up here, you see the little icon for the Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. If you use this software at home, you'll have to install the Cisco AnyConnect software. Uh, you can find that if you go to the software.lehigh.edu page um, with, and put in your Lehigh user ID and password and download the Cisco software. There's instructions on that page how to, on how to do that. Second thing I just wanted to mention really quickly, we're going to be loading uh, the software uh, from an RPM. This is going to be loading onto CentOS 6.4 32-bit. And... Um, the software that uh, the RPM was created from, if you go to archivecanonical.com, Ubuntu Pool Partners, v, VMware View Client, down at the bottom uh, is a set of binaries uh, that you can load. Um, and you, instead of using the RPM, you can always load these binaries. There's uh, a little bit of work it takes to get these binaries to uh, load and get it. Uh, all the dependencies resolved, uh, the RPM is a lot easier, and that's why the RPM was created. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what you'll do is you'll go to software.lehigh.edu, and you'll go ahead and log in, and use your Lehigh ID and password, and let me try that again. Okay. Um, I guess you have to type in the right Lehigh ID and password there. And then um, we're going to be downloading some stuff from uh, VMware. And V is down towards the end of the alphabet here. Okay. And here's the VMware view uh, line. So I'm going to click on the green check mark. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide down here. There's one note. Um, there's a Lehigh CentOS 6 version of uh, this, and it's posted under the download link, and that's where we're going to be going. There are RPM files uh, for 32-bit and 64-bit versions of the OS. We're going to, we are working on uh, a 32-bit version of uh, CentOS 6. So we'll go ahead and click the download button. And then we'll click uh, the 32-bit, uh, Linux 32-bit uh, version. And this is the RPM you're going to download. So we're going to agree to down and download. What we want to do now is we want to save the file. And in my case, uh, it's going to download it to the downloads directory. I'm not having it uh, at this point um, uh, ask me where to save it. So now if I open my terminal and I do it, uh, I'll change directory up and then I'll change directory into the downloads directory. And there's the VMware uh, Horizon View client. In order to install this, I need to be root or have sudo. I'm just going to do a switch user to uh, root. So uh, switch user space dash. Type in my root password. And then I'll do a change directory into the directory that has that file. And I'll do an ls, and so then I'll say yum, install, vm, and I'm going to hit my tab key to autocomplete. You can type that all out if you wish, or hit your tab key, and then I'll type enter. And what it does is it goes through and it finds dependencies, uh, is that okay? If I want to install it, I have to hit yes. 
and I'll wait here a second as it downloads the dependencies. Looks like it's downloading seven different things. Uh, and what we're running on here is a just a basic install of CentOS, a basic desktop install. Uh, there were updates done a few days ago to it, uh, but um, there was no no other additional packages um, added. Okay, now in order to, and I'll just exit out of the screen. In order to run uh, the the VMware Horizon View client at this point. Um, I don't have the RPM setting up an icon for it. So what you have to do is you open the uh, Windows terminal and type VMware dash view. And it will pop up a window that looks like this. And uh, what you'll do now is you'll type in the uh, server for the VMware and that is virtual site dot cc dot lehigh dot edu and then you have to come down here and click the connect button and it, this will if you see this screen you're uh, you know you're at least connecting to the server so I'll type in my lehigh ID and my lehigh password And what happens after you do that is it will come up and it will show you all the virtual machines for which you have access. And I'd say 99% of the campus will just have this one virtual machine. Uh, there may be some departments for which uh, the university has set up separate virtual sites. But uh, this is the Lehigh University virtual public site. And we'll go ahead and double click that icon and you see the welcome that means uh, I'm actually probably getting signed in here and we'll give it a second as it uh, goes ahead and cranks away I'll move that to the center there so it's okay uh, and it's finishing up the logging in. This is the public virtual site machine and this is a Windows 7 machine you can log into and uh, you can uh, run all kinds of software on here. Um, one quick note is uh, if you want anything to be around after you log off you, you don't save it on the C drive. What you'll want to do is you'll want to save it on your H drive and uh, that will allow you to um, uh, see it if you log on to a public site machine or machine here at Lehigh that's networked with Active Directory. So uh, that's pretty much how you get uh, your uh, uh, VMware Horizon View client installed and uh, we're going to go ahead and log off of the uh, pub virtual public site and I recommend when you leave the uh, VMware Horizon View Client software itself that you click on File and then click Disconnect from Server. Okay, and once you've done, once you've disconnected from the server, then go ahead and quit. And that's all there is for uh, connecting up to the VMware uh, Horizon View software and getting into the virtual public site. I hope this was informational and thanks for listening.